taking this altar down for the new moon, but I will be adding to it, as most of you have already seen it. You can now see the, the addition that I've added tonight for a client. And I'll be burning that. I will be adding another one in, in that shell. And in that shell before I do ritual at midnight. So it'll all just get added and added and added and work together. There you go, my dear. Expect change now. Guys, now, this is not to tell you how to do this. This is just to show you, since a lot of us need to learn different ways of doing things, so no one is right and no one is wrong. Hold on, let me do my Saint Expedite thing real quick. And glory to you, Saint Expedite, okay? So, I'm gonna um, wash this off real quick. Hang on, let me get my low water water. And I'll be coming back and forth for quite a few things, <laughs> actually. And let me go ahead and get some incense going here. No, I'm not going to tell you what every single thing is for. I'll tell you some things, but not everything, because uh, you have to learn things on your own. So, I'm not going to tell you every single thing I have, okay? some on myself. Oops. Okay, it's nice and clean space. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do is take my petition. I'm going to hold it between both my hands and recite what we already agreed upon, me and the client, that is. Let me put the top back on my Florida water after I cleanse myself some. Okay, I'm going to place that down because you don't need to see what that says. First thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put my bay leaf down first of all. Uh, where the hell is my... Um, what did I just do with it? I'm going to put it on the altar. Hang on. Let me get my little uh, chime candle holder.
surprisingly over like 89 years, so <coughs> I got out a lot today. <coughs> Some uh, compelling oil, manifestation oil, whatever you want to call it, because I want to compel someone to open their heart and give my client exactly what he wants or something better. Okay, so I should let it sit a little while longer, but that's okay. This is a wonderful client. I'm going to keep this altar up for quite a while. Black tourmaline. Surrounded by some beautiful rose quartz for the situation to be entirely filled with love and prosperity. Yep, that's an alligator foot, rooster foot. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, just as soon as I get these nutmegs out of here. That's what nutmeg looks like in case you've never seen one. sister makes a lovely fiery wall of protection. I want him to be very protected because we are looking for a particular type of paperwork to come into our possession. Closed up. The last thing you need is that getting your eyes. Throw down some black pepper. Black pepper. <laughs> black salt. And of course, later I'm going to be adding and adding and adding and adding and adding so it won't even be recognizable after a while. You will know I used what two, three pinches, not a dang uh, cup of stuff. My clear quartz. It's gonna go right here next to my 
those quartz. Blessed thistle. Look it up. And my job is just to come out. That person to do what I want them to do. So all of this is for that. Okay. Labiella, L-O-B-E-L-I-A, and didn't say that right. And since you just said you didn't say that right, you knew what I meant, right? Cinnamon because I still want to make the situation sweet, right? I'm going to make the situation sweet for my, for my customers so they don't see him as trying to be a threat or a hindrance or anything in the situation, okay? Yeah, I have a little bit laying around. <laughs> Thank you, Lazarus. And... Uh, second to last but not least is a beautiful oil my sister Gypsy Woman made. Everybody chill the fuck out. That's what it's called. Okay. There we go. And lastly, a very special something I had made from Tiptoe Chick when she's still in the earthly realm for eye opening. It smells really good when it burns. So when I'm on a tough case like trying to get an entity out of somebody's house or something, I really burn this a lot. Well, as you can see, a lot is really not a lot. It was maybe full to here, and I've had it for, oh, I don't know, probably three years or so. Last time she had a shop open, the green-eyed owl. And I'm going to put that on there because I want to be able to see clearly. I want to be able to know ahead of time, oh, sorry, ahead of time uh, when he needs to do something how he needs to do something. And I'm gonna light my incense. My now chompa. Oh, I didn't see what it said. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. Oh my goodness. And since this is blowing out my incense, I'm gonna move this to the other side of the table to work. W-E-R-K. Okay, so now I'll probably, I'm gonna set some other stuff on there as well as some more uh, <clears throat> clear quartz and a few other herbs and things as well that's pretty much what it looks like for right now and that's what it's gonna be I hope you can see it cuz I didn't think to turn the camera around I can't turn it around and record sorry so hopefully you can see that oops Wait, how did I have it oh I had it this way huh dang it I meant to turn the camera around so it's the full view but anyway there you go 
And of course, yours is not going to look like this. Don't try to imitate somebody else's work. Do your own work. L look up your own herbs. <clears throat> in in G-O-O-G-L-E, you can put witchy properties of, you know, acorn. Witchy properties of, you know, white sage. Witchy properties of hibiscus. You know, whatever. And believe it or not, it's going to be there in G-O-O-G-L-E. So, there you have it. Let me see. There you have it. There it be. Blessed be. And all you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.